Hello guys and welcome back to another video Today we are up Glen Isla in the Angus Glens Stunning set of glens And first port of call has to be the backwater dam Man built reservoir, man made reservoir that feeds water to the whole Angus and Tayside I think it's over 500,000 houses And here it is Huge! I think it was over a just over a year ago I was here the last time and I got two stunning sunsets here. The sky was just on fire. It was it was incredible. It was unexpected but it was welcome. It was the colours in the sky from the early early on sunset of the golds and the yellows to when we went up the other end of the reservoir, which is way over this end. The sky turned red and orange and purple. It was just, oh, it was just amazing. I'll pop up one of the pictures, let you see it. It was just stunning. So I thought I'm going up the glens. And the last time I was here, I didn't have the drone with me. It was just photography. So now I had the drone. I've been itching to get back up here just to let you guys see this place. It is stunning. The clouds, it's a bit cloudy. I was hoping to maybe stay here for the sunset, but. Um, I don't know if that'll happen. We'll see. Don't know if I'll hang about. I would like to. I would like to. If the sky starts clearer, I might hang about for the sunset. But the, the photos I got at sunset the last time, they were just amazing. And they've been really popular. So I'm hoping to get something like that again tonight. But maybe that was just a bit of a fluke. I don't know. But this is the, this is the walkover road goes over the top of the dam and it really is some place way up in Glen Isla stunning quiet all you can hear is the gulls in the water so I think I'm going to spend most of the time here up at the top end more scenic it's more picturesque up there there's a lot more going on this is more kind of concrete based if you know what I mean it looks kind of like a a man-made, well it is a man-made structure, I just said that, but the more photogenic area is if we go along this road here, go right around and capture the reservoir at the top. So that's the plan. We'll get going and uh, why don't you guys come along for the journey? I'm sure it'll be interesting if anything else. Come on, let's go. So this is the spot I was going to walk around but then I realised that it's about a two mile hike so I thought I'd just go back into the car and jump in the car so this is where I'm going and I'm going to go down there beside those trees there this is where I got my, my good shot on my sunset when it was um, it was all those reds and golds I was telling you about and it really is a bonny place it's about half past seven so I'm about an hour and a half till sunset but I don't know if I'll do that. I might just go for something different this time. I've done sunsets. I do a lot of sunsets and sunrises, but I think I might do something different this time. I might do something with these trees over here, or maybe a couple of the trees that are way down at the bottom beside the water. I'm hoping maybe some kind of reflection with everything that's going on down there. You can see behind me, everything that's going on and the water's kind of settled and smooth, so there's not that much ripples i mean i've seen it worse but um i think we'll head down that way and have a look so come on let's go So Glen Isla, one of the many glens in the Angus Hills. Glen Isla, frozen. 
clover, left knot, they all run up kind of the edge of the, towards the Cairn Gorms, so really is a bonny area. If you've not been, you should, you should go, it's stunning, especially this time of day, it's, it's a bit different than being up first thing in the morning, I mean about quarter to eight, well, there's a step over there, I'm away, ski with, about quarter to eight and it's just peaceful, it's, it's bonny. It's quiet, no noises, apart from the birds. In the water. So what I've been doing is what I was on about before. I've, I've been experimenting and I've been um, using the trees and the bushes and the foliage, foliage and then I spotted this leaf down here by itself just sitting there. Quite the thing enjoying the view. So I put on my 70 to 300 millimeter lens and I'm just getting that in focus and with the trees and the reflection, the trees I was on about before, the three trees on the other side of the, the water there, as a, uh, is the that's my main subject, but I want another reflection of them trees in the water as well. So what I've been doing is I've been sitting my camera just about down on the ground, because I'm not getting that shutter speed, I'm getting too slow a shutter speed, and when I'm trying to get the photo, I think it's like 120th of a second, there's even less than that. It's just blurring the image, so I'm trying to balance the camera just on the ground and shooting at this leaf, getting the detail, focusing in on it, maybe shooting it up to about 180 mil, focusing in on it, and seeing what I get. I mean, it's an idea, because of the rippling of the water, because the water's moving so often, every, every now and again there's a big ripple that comes through the picture, so I'm going to take a few images of it and try and capture, search through the right one and try and capture a nice smooth bit of the water. I like that. That looks pretty decent. I'll let you see what I'm seeing. I'll stick this camera around my neck. I don't drop it. Now I'll let you see That leaf there, and the reflection in the background. That's what I went for. Let's see how it works out. Let's see how the picture looks. The good thing about this mirrorless camera, when you've got it on manual focus, there's an option called focus peaking, and when you're trying to focus in and get a crystal clear picture, it comes up red around the edges on every place it's in focus, and I'll let you see it just now. You can see on the screen there, you see the, the red around the edge of the trees, that's the focus peaking. And Oh, it's, it's brilliant. It's something I didn't really know was on this camera, to be honest, when I bought it. But um, I was watching a guy on YouTube, won't mention his name, but a um, really good photographer, and he brought it up, and I was like, oh, I've got that. I've got a mirrorless camera, so I had a look, had a look through the settings, and bang, there it was. So really beneficial for getting stuff in focus if, you're, if your eyes may be de uh, deteriorating of old age. Not that I'm old, but... Um, Sometimes you just need that little bit extra help just to get it in focus and that's without it being on automatic focus. I like using the manual focus because it feels like I've put the effort in to getting this picture the way I want it.
Oh, it really is bonny here. It's like so peaceful and tranquil. Stunning. Well, oh, I'm enjoying this, um, this view here and looking at the sky for it to change colour, which is starting to, it is starting to, if you look up there, there's oranges and blues coming through, but whether I'm going to get the light show or one is a different story, but while well, I'm waiting for that and looking about to see what I can get photos of, why don't you guys go and have a scoot about and have a good look at the uh, scenery and surroundings by here, on you go, I'll hang about here with my camera. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we live in And no, oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure When you're next to me Where you wanna go I am all about adventure times Another drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe you are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind all the who goes who in stage dives I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying I don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we live in And no, oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me Even if I told you I could never let you go I am not so sure you believe me but if I mean to show you, I will never let you go, no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we live in And no, oh, baby, you are something special, I'm sure When you're next to, when you're next to, when you're next to me ah. So obviously as you can see, I'm not going to get a sunset Definitely not, but I think I've got a few really decent images just from this one wee spot. Um, you know, I mean, you guys have had a good look around and you can see everything that's around here. Uh, when you go up on the drone, you can see everything and it's stunning, it's beautiful, but I've just lost the light. I've not gotten, it's not played the game this time for me, but I've got a couple of images in this kind of light that I'm really excited about. So I'll let you see this last image before we go. This will be the final one of the day, that's coming up at 9 o'clock and the light show's not really generated anything special but I mean I've still got decent images, I mean the one with the leaf I'm quite excited about, I'm looking forward to mucking about with that one but I've also got this one here 
and I'll let you see it, he's just shooting through, I'm sitting at 70 mil on my camera, and it's like one eighth of a second, well it's not even, it's an eighth of a second, shutter speed, but I'm just shooting through the reeds, and I'll let you see. I'm just shooting through the reeds and it's shooting down towards the wee trees and the, and the far away trees in the distance there, big evergreens there just disappearing away in the corner. I'll take this image and then I'm going to move the camera back a bit and see if I can get that leaf in this image. Yeah, it's F9, ISO 100. I'm going to drop the exposure just a, just a bar here. If it will let me. Come on, I don't want that. I'm going to drop the exposure just one more notch. packed up. Time to leave this tranquil scenery behind. Just make sure I've not forgotten nothing. No, I've got everything. Yeah, so that's been a wee bit of Glen Isla. I mean, Glen Isla is huge and there's lots to see, so that's just maybe, maybe come back up this Glen. I'll, I might run through the rest of the Glens, to be honest, and then circle my way back around again, but... Oh. It got dark awfully quick tonight. Unless I've just been enjoying myself too much and not paying attention, but I mean, the, the night is cloudy right enough. But, oh, I've got a few, couple, I've, got, I've got a couple of good images. I took a couple of images there with a the drone. Hopefully, I don't lose my drone footage again, because that's what happened last week. I managed to scrape together a couple of bits, but last week's video, I lost all my drone footage. I just do not know what happened, but there's been a few, got a few pictures there with the drone this time, so fingers crossed it's, I've got a couple of decent images there that uh, should look really good, especially with this light, it's, look at this boggy here, different, it's misty, it's, it's dark and it's blues and it's misty and it's, oh it's just, Stunning, you can see behind me. Beautiful place. So, that's another video done, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked seeing the Backwater Dam Reservoir. And I will catch you in the next video. Remember and subscribe if you can. It does help. Hit the like button, leave comments on the video. It all helps my channel grow and makes all these trips worthwhile. And uh, let me take you guys to beautiful scenery like this. And if you've not been here before, you guys can go yourself. It's not a hard place to find. A few miles outside Kirimua. But it's well worth it. Especially if you're into your fishing. Or if you just want to relax in the sunshine and have a picnic. I mean, there's heaps of shoreline to sit on. Right next to the water. And there's plenty of wildlife to keep you occupied. So, I will. Thanks for watching, guys. And... I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. <laughs> there, I said it. I may as well just say it for now on because I always want to say it and I don't know why. It just wants to come out. And I didn't use it in any other walk of life. I didn't use it any other way in any other of my... Uh, any other things that I do in life. I did I say to folk, ciao for now. Again, I don't... Uh, don't say, oh, I see you later. I see something to see. Ciao for now. And I say that, and I don't know why I'm compelled to say it on these videos, but eh, uh, oh, look at that, and the water's alive with fish, can you see all the ripples in the water, maybe not, it's alive with fish, right I'm away, see you later guys, catch you in the next video, thanks again for watching, bye.